Alright guys, so here we are once again for another episode of the Dirt Rally Career Mode. This is our second stage, that our second event that we're tackling in this career mode. We're still in the Mini. We've now moved on to Monte Carlo, which of course is in the world famous Monaco country, I guess. So we're going to continue on. Uh, we're going to jump straight into the action. Um, if you missed the last episode, I recommend you go check it out. Um, it was a pretty good one. I was just coming to grips with this game. I asked for some advice from you guys in the comments. And I've got to say a big thank you to everyone who left suggestions. Um, I think the biggest one was like, you have 30 minutes worth of time to repair your car after every event. So, uh, in between stages. So, I'm certainly going to make use of that. And that's going to be very helpful in the future. If, of course, we make those small mistakes. Which I'm hoping we don't. But, uh, either way, we'll see how we go. So, this is event number two, Monte Carlo. Uh, do we have, um, I guess the vehicle is sort of reset in between stages and in between events, sorry. So I think we might be starting from a clean slate. So here we go, Monte Carlo, it's a brand new rally for me. So we'll be um, learning once again. So I'm not expecting big things, but if I can just keep a consistent run, that's all that I could really ask for. So here we go, looks like we have a little bit of snow, maybe a bit of rain to contend with. So we'll see how we go. Away we go. I'm going to try and listen to my uh, co-driver a little bit more in this one. You guys said it would be a little bit fine if I... Oh, first gear is not the gear you want to be in. You guys said it would be fine if I left a little bit of uh, game audio in the video, so that's fine. Oh, almost hit that embankment. That would have been a bit nasty. At least we can't go tumbling down the mountains now. At least there's a guardrail that stops us from a certain death. Split time is good, six tenths up. Let's maintain this for the rest of the stage. Oh, avoid the minivan! Oh, every time. Get carried away with uh, winning, but uh, we didn't use the recover vehicle. We saved ourselves a lot of time there, but if we keep it clean, I think we'll still be on for a good result. And right one. No, you're kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Are you joking me? I went in a little bit too deep, hit the embankment or the wall or whatever, and all we did was like hit the roof on, on the snow, and that is terminal damage. I saw, we hit trees last episode, we smashed into trees, back in, going rear end first into trees, flipping and recovering the vehicle, and that was fine, but this, a tiny, a very slow speed crash or rollover, and that's... 87% terminal damage, that is, I don't know, I think that's a little bit inconsistent with the damage model there, but uh, I'm not happy with that. We are going to restart, unfortunately, and uh, we'll tackle it again. Maybe this time uh, we can, now that we know the circuit a tiny little bit, I don't remember all the corners, but we'll give it another go. Maybe this time we'll be even quicker. Okay, I've just figured out the handbrake is the B button, so... We're going to try that out coming into some hairpins now. And left ball continues at 80, oh, that was close to the wall there. Right 1.8 seconds up. And hairpin right. And right six long 40. There we go, use the hairpin, uh, the hairpin? Use right the uh, handbrake a little bit there. I, I gotta say, it did rotate the car a little bit, so that's very handy. Caution, left two tights to one bad camber. Into right two long 100. Ice from here. Six seconds up. That is the difference between hitting, between like nailing, uh, like staying consistent. Like that's that's massive. That's huge. We can't lose this from here. Head been coming up. Let's chuck the handbrake on. Catch the back end. That was nice. You know what I need is like. A little handbrake lever. I think like Slap Train has one of those, and they that'd be really handy right now. I also saw like people recommending that I get like an actual um, H pattern shifter or even a sequential shifter because that would make the immersion factor of this game so much better. And after playing this, I could really see myself getting into like a long term kind of series, and I feel like that kind of investment would be worth it. Turn right four to finish. So what's the time? I think I think we won. I think we are three seconds clear of the rest of the field. It's a four minute twenty-one. We'll see on the results. We've got we've won our first stage 
on Dirt Rally. I made a few little mistakes there in the final split, but in the end, we have just scathed away with winning our first stage, and we've beat the absolute robot from episode one, DeLuca. You can get stuffed. We're coming for your world. We're coming for your title. It's it's baby steps, but we we've made our first like step towards you know being a, a, a like a semi decent uh, rally driver. I'm really happy to like get that monkey off my back now. I was I was thinking maybe that would take a few episodes to do, but here we are, the the start of episode two, and we've got our first stage win. Let's uh, let's try and carry through this momentum. Try and like get some consistent results. Try not to crash, and um, possibly take away this uh, event win. Stage two, the Gordelon. Let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And it's go 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 for the Monaco Grand Prix. Right two into left two. Right tire squeal. Three. Sounds like uh, tires are. Two, I can imagine they're being very. They're very cold. It's it's freaking snowing outside. What do you expect, Ben? So hairpins are referred to as like a one corner. I'm almost tempted for some two corners to uh, use the handbrake possibly just to get the nose in a little bit better. This this mini front wheel drive it is very understeery, and you guys sort of picked up on that in the first episode. Into right six sixty. But now, now that I've got a general feel of what this Mini can do and how to drive and how to get the most out of it, it is so rewarding this game and it's so fun to just tackle these like little rally stages. Even though I have no idea where I'm going, you just make it up as you go along and, and when you like hit an apex, you nail a corner like that. It's just, it's so rewarding. Eight seconds up pretty much. Unbelievable scenes. Sorry, that guy definitely flinched as I... Tried to take him out. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about. Bit of first gear action, bit of hand braking, and those hairpins are taken with ease now. I guess the next stage now, guys, is if you have any setup tips now, we've got, sort of got a basic understanding of how to drive this mini. Um, what I'd like to know next is like how to set up the car. Some people have suggested like softening up the front of the car just to get the nose in a little bit better so that it makes turning and braking at the same time a little bit better. Um, other people have said moving the, um, the brake bias towards the rear in order to get the rotation to be a little bit better. Um, but if there's anything else that I can change and also let me know as that would be much appreciated. Oh uh... yeah. Oh, ice patches. Left five continues for 100. Into right five. Into left six. Into right oh, I did the handbrake there just as an emergency. It almost uh, slid me into a barrier then, but I think we just got away with it. There's not long to go now. A few more corners. We'll stay on board for the rest of this. I'm completely ignoring the advice of my co pilot, but I don't think it matters because the rally is over now at the finish line, and I think we've won that one too. The, the the change in form from episode 2 to episode 1 has been absolutely mental. We win that one by 8.7 seconds and I believe we'll now have a, a lead that's about over 10 seconds. It's 11.6 now, so looking quite comfortable now. Just need to not make any mistakes, keep it simple, try not to be too much of a, a race day hero, and um, we should win our first event. Get in, lads! Okay, so now we're approaching the third stage of uh, the rally, and um, we do have a little bit of vehicle repairs that we can do. Now, in the comment section, you guys said that we can get away with 30 minutes worth of free uh, repairs. After that, if it goes past 30 minutes, then it'll start to cut into our, our stage rally. So we're gonna try and repair as much as we can. Just moving the engine back to 100% status will put the repair time up to 24 minutes. So I'm just gonna put it up by a couple. Uh, I'm going to fix up the wheels. I feel like they would be a very crucial part um, to our performance. So having a straight wheel, give it a bit of a wheel alignment and we'll head on for the next one. The gearbox is at 94%. If anything, I think gets below 80%. I think that's when you sort of need to go, okay, that needs to be, you know, that needs to be looked at. So I don't think we press A, I think we just press B. And we used up 28 minutes of our repair time. So we could in theory use up a bit more of that repair time but I can't be asked. 
I think I think we should be fine. The car felt pretty good at the end of the last stage, so we'll continue on. We've got a slightly better car now, and um, who knows? We we may even win this one too. Two, one, go. Left five tights, three past junction. Bump, keep in. Right one, long opens. 100 over crest. Left five, long tights to 460. I'm not too sure about what the uh, difficulty level is at, the, is at this stage. Uh, I don't recall setting any kind of difficulty level, so I'm guessing it's just like at a slightly easier level because it is the start of a, a career mode on a brand new game. I think that's the way like the, I guess the difficulty settings would work. But if it isn't like that, then let me know uh, because I can always up the difficulty for the next one so that we aren't just dominating everything. But uh, I'd imagine as we progress through the ranks, progress through some championships, it's definitely going to get a lot harder. And as I say that, we aren't top of the, the timesheet for the moment. 1.5 seconds down on the race leader. Oh, slow it down, slow it down. Get the... That was a nice little save there. We were right up against the wall. We had no, we had no room to steer in to get the through the radius of the corner. But we used the handbrake to get through there anyway. And I don't think it's cost us too much time. I think we we're one and a half seconds down at the last split. This time we've lost how much? We lost about three seconds there. Right five into caution. Left five. Right one long. Don't cut. Okay, I'll try not to. Telling Tim at Marduk not to corner cut is like telling a dog not to eat when it's hungry. Oh, watch out for those. Fuck. Fuck. Let's get out of here before the owner sees. And he puts in a big insurance claim on us. This has not been a good stage for us. We're probably going to have some radiated damage there. Maybe even more engine damage than what we had before. So, uh, that's not good. Yeah, we're now, we're now 10 seconds down on whoever's leading this stage so far. And if that is the robot that is from the first episode, then... Oh! Shit. If we're 10 seconds down on the person who was leading at the end of the first episode, then that's our lead completely gone now. Oh, yes! I wish I... I don't know if I should have stayed in second gear there, I'm not too sure. I don't know which gear is the best to get the best decks out of, out, out of hairpins. Jeez, I can't talk. Ugh. Okay. Up to the line, we're going to lose 13, 14 seconds in this stage. I, I'm, I'm really hoping that we still have... Okay, it wasn't, it wasn't that guy who was leading, so we may still be leading the overall rally. Let's have a look on the next page. We now lead by 31 seconds. So, I think it was DeLuca who who was leading, or like who was in second place before, and now it looks like he's had some major issues because he's now five minutes off the pace. He must have had some kind of reliability issue, or he either crashed or fell off the mountain or something. Had to get a spare car out, <laughs> but yeah, it's looking pretty good for us. We'll just try not to screw it up in the final stage. Oops. Dropped my phone. Stage four of Monaco, the route de Torini Decente. It looks like we are going down a hill and we're gonna go down a hill pretty quick. I'm gonna take the quick away. I'm just gonna plunge off the side of a cliff uh, once I make a mistake. What's the bet? Keep left over crest. Oh, that's close. Caution right six long, acute left, 100. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to repair my car after the last one. After we uh, basically nosedived into uh, some some civilian's car. Oh, we clipped the back end and we managed to save it just. Oh my goodness me. We are playing with fire in this rally. We don't need to push it too hard. We're leading by 31 seconds. As long as we can stay within 31 seconds of the leader, then we win the stage. We win the event. I gotta remember that. Oh, I'm really pushing too much. I'm pushing the boundaries way too much. This is stressful, <laughs> but so fun at the same time. Yeah. Some of these corners, I've never come across them before. 
but I managed to just skate through them enough with just enough room, and it's so rewarding. It's 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 quite amazing. That wasn't so amazing. I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a lie down after this. Uh, this is so fun. You guys have no idea. Just doing a time trial, doing a rally like this, on my own. Just like trying to survive and just like adapting to whatever comes in front of me, just reacting to what's thrown at me around Monaco is so fun. That's not so fun, but we pretty much wall bounced through there. That was uh, pretty effective, not gonna lie. And in just a few corners' time, we're gonna come across the line and win our first rally event in what has been a remarkably good episode for Dirt Rally career mode. Guys, if you enjoyed that, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. We finished second place in the stage, but overall, we are going to win the event by 41 seconds, and we put ourselves in a really good position for this mini open 1960s championship. Wow, I am really enjoying Dirt career mode so far. If you guys are too, then let me know down in the comments. Um, if you want me to like do longer videos, if you want me to do shorter videos and let me know. I'm still trying to get used to the pacing of these episodes and how much uh, content I should put in. Um, but I think in possibly the next episode or the episode after, we will finish off this championship and then we'll move on to the next one, possibly buy a new car. And uh, we'll see where the career mode takes us in those episodes. So once again guys, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in a brand new video very soon. It may even be Dirt Rally Career Mode once again. I'm really enjoying it so far. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. 38k in the bank. Nice dosh coming in, rolling in right there. I think we'll pay, have to pay out about 100 grand to that guy we crashed into for that insurance claim, but that's fine. Here's the championship standings for this 1960s Open Rally Series. Uh, as you can see, we've now moved into first. Uh, DeLuca, who was the robot from the first episode, drops down to third. And uh, Petit, who finished second in this event, he moves up to second. And um, yeah, that's, that's what it looks like at the moment, in case you were wondering. And um, yeah, really looking forward to the next episode.